All right, we're live, guys. How's everybody doing? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist, coming to you from my art studio and uh, ready to do a live here with you guys. Let's do this. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah. There we go. All right. Hope you guys are doing great. Here we go. Let's do a live, okay? So I'm going to start out by drawing the painting. This is a great way to get you started if you want to do something a la prima. A la prima really just means uh, in one shot. Put a little bit of air here. It's getting hot in the Tucson, Arizona. There you go, something like that. A la prima means in one shot. It means one take, okay? The first one. So I'm gonna do a ballerina a la dega. And I'm gonna draw my ballerina. This is a sketch. The way that I like to do my stuff is in a sketch form. Okay, it is in a sketch form. This allows me to really to really concentrate on the movement of the piece as opposed to all the bullshit details that I don't mind. Okay, this allows me to concentrate. Check it out. Oh la la! Man, I'm good. Freaking awesome. So this is how I do it. And then, and then I play with my composition. Okay? I like to play with vertical lines when I'm doing figures. I like to also play with horizontal lines that are a bit slanted. I'm looking to where I'm going to place my, my subject matter. Okay? And you will see me do this, those of you who follow my work, you will see me do this uh, constantly. Because I'm looking, I'm looking to see where the figure is going to be placed. It is the most important part. I know I, I talk like if I don't know how to do this, the reason I talk like this for the most time, for the most part, when, when, I'm, when I'm doing little demos in my over a thousand videos on YouTube, the reason why I do this is so that I can get you out of thinking about it. If I can get you out of thinking about it, then you can then you can start seeing things as a whole, as opposed to, when why is the leg like that? Don't worry about what the leg is like that. Look at it as a whole. Look at it dynamically, okay? Instead of thinking about a specific color, you're thinking about all of it. All right, so here we go. Let's do my ballerina with her of course, tutu. There is a dance in the brush as I'm applying as I'm applying the paint. Some people think it's done by mistake. It is not done by mistake. It is all design, but it is it is practice. It is practice, you know. It is practice. All of it is practice. And until you learn how to let go. That's why I keep barking about letting go, right? When you learn how to let go, you will ex you will start experiencing uh, magic in your artwork. You will start experiencing different different magic in your artwork. It's the beauty of being a painter. It is the beauty of being a painter. It's your ability to let go. As, as I always say, Edgar Degas has, had told us already many years ago, only when, when an artist does not know what the artist is doing is that he or she is doing something good. Right? So that is how that works. It's only when you don't know what you're doing. It doesn't mean that you don't practice. It doesn't mean that you don't... It means that you let go. That's what he's trying to say. Some people think that, man, my stuff is not selling. Well, you ain't practicing. You're not getting better. How is it going to sell? You got to practice, right? Alisa says, I've been trying to... Uh, what's my YouTube channel? My YouTube channel, Sassy, is 
just my name, Jose Trujillo, and if you put if you put artist or painting or demo, I'll come up there. It's Jose Trujillo art. Alisa Penner says underscore artist. Sorry about that. Says I have been trying to I have been trying out letting go. It feels good. Yeah, feels really good. It's it's a uh, it's it's a uh, it's a different thing happening. You know, you're offering something else to the creative space. You're not so stuck on 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 pleasing, right? The pleasing is it stops. The pleasing stops. What I mean by pleasing is that you're trying to please your mind. Most artists do this, whether you know it or not. You're trying to do this many times, and and what happens when you do that is that you stop listening to the creative. You stop touching the... I'm going to go esoteric on you guys right now. You stop touching the eternal. Okay? Ooh la la. Stop touching the eternal. If you stop touching the eternal, you have no access to power. It's like you're unplugging yourself. You need to plug yourself in. And the way to plug yourself in is to practice like a mad person. Practice, practice, practice. And when you're ready to paint, let go. Of all of your practice let it go trust that it's going to be just fine because it will trust that you are good enough where you're standing if you don't practice knowing that you're good enough where you're standing you will never feel good enough no matter how great you paint you're always gonna feel bad I see my growth and I'm comfortable with me work I love that I've been doing that too. I love that. Not stuck on perfection. I get stuck. Not stuck on perfection. I get stuck on perfection. Getting stuck on perfection, it's fine. It's, it's part of the process. Uh, the thing is that is that it's the practice of of per per perfectionism. As I've said in many in many of my my videos, it's it's really. Um, it's really, and it depends on what you want, right? You gotta be honest with yourself, what you want. If you're trying to do hyper-realism, we already had someone who did that, right? Salvador Dali, who said perfectionism is just not something you're going to accomplish. Stop chasing it, right? Stop chasing it, it's just something you're not gonna accomplish. Because we're as rivers, we keep growing, we keep changing, right? It's, it's always changing. The water is always different. It can't be the same water if you're, I don't know what philosopher said that, but, uh, but if you, if you, if, if what perfectionism does is that it wants you to continue pleasing an idea of what the painting should look like, what your brushstrokes should look like. It, it tries to get you to believe something that is ever changing. It's, it's evergreen. It, what, how I paint right now, it's not going to be how I paint 10 years from now, not even, not, not even a week from now. Little subtle things change. And, and at the same time, it is the exact same way too. But, but little subtle things change. Little things keep changing. You know, it's not, it's not the same thing. It's going to continue to change. And if it doesn't change, you're not growing. It has to change, right? It has to change. Yeah, let's do a little shadow, that maybe. Now let's do the shadow going this way. There we go. If you're not changing, you're not growing. You have to change. This doesn't mean that you change dramatically what you do. What I'm talking about is that you allow... See, it's, it's, it's like you have to allow freedom. And, and, and when you're stuck in perfectionism, you're not allowing freedom. Perfectionism looks like different things for different artists. For some artists, it may look like it needs to look extremely representational or else I'm not going to be happy. That's one form, right? How much reality does my painting have? For other artists, perfectionism could be like, it has to look like a Jackson Pollock. The brushstroke, the drip has to be just right. If it's not, I will suffer. I get so tense uh, 
Bab Babaline333 says, I get so tense trying to be perfect. My colors have to be exactly perfect. Even when I'm trying to do an abstract, I totally get that. You are not alone, my friend. I get it. This is the curse of the human being. No one's alone in this game. This, this, is, this is the idea that there is something outside. There is something in your mind, right? There's something in your mind. And how do you close the bridge between your mind and the canvas? There's an idea that you will that is insatiable. It is a monster. It's insatiable. You will never feed it. It's a black hole. No matter how much you want it to go from here to the canvas, it will never represent exactly alike because there are two different things happening. The canvas is a life of its own. And if you don't allow, by using your skills, right? Using your skill sets, if you don't allow the canvas to have a life of its own, it creates psychological pain, right? It creates tenseness. It creates, I don't know if that's a word, tenseness. But you create, you create psychological pain. You, you suffer. There is an idea that I have to meet. And if I don't meet it, right, then there is pain associated with this. And, 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 it's, and it's so easy to get carried away by it. It's so easy. So, the moment that I see myself trying to perfect a brush stroke or trying to perfect a part of the painting, I move on. This is what I do, okay? Instead of staying here or staying here where I want to perfect something, what I do is that I'll start moving to the next place. This gives it, you know how they say love is letting go? This gives it, this gives this breathing time. Now, some artists, like to do this in months, right? They take months to do this. For example, what they'll do is that they'll paint something, they'll put it away, and then they'll come back to it. Cool, that's not me. It's, it's too time consuming, I ain't got that type of time. I make a living as an artist, I ain't got time to, 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 to keep a painting there forever. I gotta get it done, right? It's gotta go. Beautiful, this is helping me so much. I appreciate that, thank you so much. I'm scared of change, Sassy says. I'm scared of change, but I'm trying to change that. I love that. I'm scared of change, but I'm trying to change that. It, it's, it's, it's so interesting, right? Change is uh, one of those things that, that in order for humans to grow, it needs to constantly be there. No human ever, no human ever grows without change. And almost no human ever becomes, really grows spiritually, almost never without pain. Right? There needs to be some pain to that. And I'm not talking about like some physical pain, but there needs to be pain of letting go. You know, no one wants to let go of the painting style. No one wants to let go of the colors. I totally get that. Nobody wants to do that. Because you, it, the, the idea that you have in your mind is an extension of, your, of yourself. You create extensions of yourself. So how could you let go of that? It's almost like letting go of, of your arm. You know, you can't let go of an extension of yourself. So I totally get that, but you have to. In order to grow, you have to let it go. You have to let it go. And you have to be okay, too, with imperfection. Because believe it or not, like it or not, the reason why you fight it, it's not because you're not good enough, okay? Or because you're, you have something in your mind that you're trying to get out necessarily. The reason why I believe most artists fight where they're at, why they fight their, 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 their artwork, it's because they can't conceive, they can't accept the skill set and the level that they are in. Angelo says, another great job by the world's greatest living artist. It's so true. <laughs> Thank you so much, Angelo. But, you know, let me, let me get a, do a close-up here. The reason why I believe that we have such problem with that you know, it's because it almost looked like like a like a peacock, <laughs> the tutu. Uh, the, I believe the reason why it's because we have a an idea of of the painting now becomes my an extension of me, right? So it's almost like it's almost like like cutting off a limb, right? If I let it go, like oh, I'm not gonna care about all the perfectionist stuff. 
about it, it's going to be painful for me, right? Because it's an extension of me. It's a psychological extension of me. It's an identification of me. Dude, this is totally Jedi. It's an identification of me. So if I let it go, then I'm letting go of this identification. And it's difficult. It's very painful to do. But you got to do it. You got to do it. It's the only way to grow. You have to allow yourself to suck. And if you do, you start getting better. You did it in like 20 minutes. Yes, I took too long to do it. This should have been done in like 7 minutes. <laughs> so there you guys have it. Let's pull back so that we can see a little bit of the silhouette and the whole thing. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm the world's greatest living artist. Oh, let me show you what I did earlier. I was doing some cactus. I was doing some cactus and this is what I came up with. Bam! Look at that. Prickly pear cactus. Look at those colors. Look at that green. Next to that fuchsia. Man, this is, this is why I don't like when some people are like, dude, you don't even know what, how to paint. You don't even know color theory. I know color theory. Of course I do. I've been doing this for 20 years. Thank you, that's perfect. I have to suck and throw it away and try again. I get so tense and I can't breathe when I'm doing it. I know that's wrong. Uh, I let go and all other parts of my life. Totally, totally. Just, just you know, allow yourself. One of, one, one of my favorite quotes is by a, a, a book of wisdom uh, uh, from China called the, the, the Tao Te Ching. And the book says, Allow yourself if you want to be if you want to be straightened right if you if you like a tree right if you want to be straightened allow yourself to be crooked first like it's okay allow yourself to be where you are see the frustration comes because you won't accept that this is as good as you are right now and it's okay this is as good as you are right now. And no matter how much you work it and rework it and rework it, it's as good as it is in this present moment. It cannot be better. I learned how to accept that. This painting cannot be any better than what it is right now. And if I don't accept that, I'm going to create pain for myself. And I don't want pain. Right? I want all kinds of fuzzy shit and happiness. So, especially when I'm painting. So I need to accept it. And in the accepting of this, the next one, slightly better, slightly better and slightly better. It's a cooking process, right? But you have to accept it. And it doesn't matter if the next one's not slightly, slightly better to your mind. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you accept every point of the way. You, you, you allow every point to be sacred. This is, why, this is why so many people get confused about art. Every point is sacred. How do you get rid of self-doubt? You keep moving. You keep moving. The only way to get rid of self-doubt is to keep moving. Self-doubt happens because of an excessive amount of thinking. All doubt comes from fear. And all fear is arise from excessive thinking. You are overthinking many things. And then does you, you, you paralyze and then you start doubting yourself. You won't even, you won't even uh, uh, trust your own intuition, which is a uh, God-given treasure, right? Your, your intuition is the most valuable asset you have probably next to time, <laughs> right? Your existence and then your intuition is like, it's, it's your compass. So you, 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 you can't get rid of it unless you stop thinking. And the way to stop thinking, I, I'm doing courses on this, guys. The way to stop thinking is that you have to start moving no matter what. You keep moving. See, if I sit here and I start looking at this painting, right? And I don't move to the next one or I don't move to the next task, I'll start hating it. There's something that I'm going to start hating about it. Every, anytime you look at something without acceptance, anything, this could be people, jobs, whatever. Anytime you look at something without acceptance, without being like, okay, I'll leave it alone. I'll accept it, right? Every time you look at something like that, you, you are creating judgments on it. You're creating judgments. And every time you're creating judgments on it, you're creating, you're, you're, you're trying to figure out how this fits in your life, how it benefits you or how it harms you. Because you'll see all the imperfections, exactly. But they're not really imperfections. It's not that, it's not that they're imperfections. 
What happens is that anytime you start cranking your mind, you could be sitting down having a lobster or if you're a vegetarian, you know, uh, you could be you could be sitting down having your best food. But if you start thinking about it, you start realizing things you don't like about it. I, I will have I will have a, a, a classes I'm putting together on, on a Trujillo Art Academy where I'm going to be uh, teaching all kinds of courses anywhere from painting drawing color mixing to to getting your work out there into the marketplace getting gallery exhibits selling online selling in your community marketing yourself through and through I'm going to be doing all kinds of courses I'm putting it together and it's going to be awesome. And I'm going to let you guys know as soon as it's ready. As soon as the first course is up, I'm going to let everyone know. Okay? Uh, we are, but we allow ourselves to see your painting and beauty. And we allow ourselves to see your painting as beautiful when we don't allow that for ourselves a lot of times. It's so true because the grass is always greener, right? This, this I believe, it, it comes from, from the idea that that every every person feels that we're not that they're not good enough you know i'll see my painting as beautiful and then i'll see someone else and i'll be like oh my god that painting's so great that you sort of dismiss yourself you 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 won't give yourself credit thank you so much for this i really appreciate it thank you so much i appreciate it too i appreciate you guys coming by and and you know uh, just, you know, showing up through this little window in my studio. I appreciate it very, very, very much. Hey, I got to show you guys this awesome abstract expressionist painting. It's so freaking cool. All right, guys, I'm going to be posting this stuff on my eBay shop. Those of you who are like, dude, I love that. I want to have it. Well, you know where to find me. Uh, the link is in my profile. Yeah. <laughs> How competitive is the art world? Extremely competitive for those competing. Do not compete. Dominate. Okay? Find out what you're good at and be the best at that. Do not compete. I repeat, competition is not healthy. Competition is only healthy for the consumer. It is not healthy for the artist. Okay? The consumer is going to find uh, what works for them best. Price, size name recognition and on and on and on if you're an artist you should not be competing you will feel the pain of that too you should be dominating you should be the best at what you do all right this is why i'm the world's greatest living artist bam oh by the way i'm doing some shirts of the world's greatest living artist i'm going to share them with you guys so if you want to be a world's greatest living artist too so you got to wear that shirt you got to own it all right guys take care talk to you soon adios